Hey y'all, you have probably seen this video on your timeline, Instagram, Twitter, or wherever. And Shadi thinks she's white. She thinks she's Caucasian. She's tripping, tripping, tripping. Nah, shout out Ella May though. But Shorty right here, she's tripping, tripping, tripping. She thinks she's white, bro. Huh? Huh? Ah, uh, let's talk about it still. Slide right through the gator. We had live on a Sunday, they hit Magic City Monday. And this ain't no bow out challenge. Got the jet on the runway. Can my niggas get it back? Whoa, you don't want no ass. No off white sneakers. Hey man, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you for taking the time to watch my videos. You could be watching anything, but you're watching me, so I'm mad grateful, mad um, thankful. Definitely dab on that subscribe button. Shoot <laughs> on that like button. I appreciate you. This channel aims to provide you with entertainment. In every single video, the goal is to not only educate you, but also entertain you. Makes me give you something that is worthwhile watching. You feel me? Hey Amen. So, if you haven't seen this video, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna share it with y'all real quick. Uh, here's the first sn little snippet. With my beliefs, I'm white. I'm a Caucasian because everything about me is different from an African American. I have naturally straight hair. Pause. I don't care if you look in yourself in the mirror and think you're purple. Shadi, you're black. You can't argue with reality. If I if I put my phone up, my, my headphones up, gravity will come down. Okay? I jump off a building. Gravity will take effect. The fact is Shardy is, is black, okay? You're black, you're not white, you're not Caucasian, you're not purple, you're not yellow, you're not pink, you're black. My hair isn't nappy, it doesn't require weave. My nose is not giant, it's like African Americans. My lips are perfect, they're not too big and they're not too small, like, they're just perfect. My ears, I don't have black people ears because they're really giant. Most African- Pause. Black people ears, yo. My ears are not big. My ears are small. What does she mean, black people ears? What's supposed to mean? See, obviously, you know, there are certain features that are more prominent in a black culture of black people, and then there are certain features that are more prominent in Caucasian people or Asian people. Shorty does not hate black people. She hates herself. That's what she. That's what she, that's, I think. That's the root. The roots of the video so far. She hates herself. Americans speak ghetto. But when it comes to black people, I think they're all ugly and I have nothing in common with them. I'm different from African Americans because I'm white. My figure is just like Kim Kardashian and she's a wonderful role model. I act and I think like a white person instead of- Huh? Yeah? I know she, I, know, I don't know if you still do this, but like, yeah, she's crazy. She's crazy. She's crazy. I don't know like the whole the full story of like her family, but I highly doubt her father's in her life right now. There's no way. There's no absolutely no way I can have a daughter and have her ha thinking she's black or have her thinking she's white or have her hating her skin tone. I'm gonna nourish that child, nourish that baby, and bring her up in a way that you know is right. So again, if y'all don't know, she's this video is where this girl is on the Dr. Phil show. See, I don't even know where Dr. Phil be finding all these people from. Where do you find these people, bro? Dr. Phil, <laughs> talk. And I'm like, I really do hope that when he brings these people on, on these shows, it's not solely for entertainment. I know there's a premise of like helping, but like, do these people actually end up getting helped? It's my question. Do they actually improve or change their mindset? I like, obviously the, the entertainment value is here. That's why I'm speaking on it. It's funny. To some extent, it's funny to laugh at, right? That she's thinking this way. But like, I hope the, sh the people that Dr. Phil brings on the show actually do end up getting helped. Because this right here is a trash mindset. Black person. I believe that I'm completely and um, utterly better than them. Like, we're on two different levels. Like, okay, African Americans are here. 
I'm here. White people act and think just way more mature than African Americans. Black people, they think in a criminal way. You know, I just think that a black person, she's black, right, has this mindset. So I'm sure there are, not all, again, not all, not all, but there are definitely a good amount of Caucasian people and other people, other races that have this mindset as well. Okay. So, what does that mean? Racism, all that stuff is still out there. It may not be as blatant as it used to be, but it's more so discreet nowadays. Such as, you know, people like um, not getting job interviews based on their name. Like, you know, there are certain names that are, are associated with, uh, with a black person than there are with a white person. Such as, you know, Tyrone, Owolabi, um, Jacqueline, compared to Mark, John, Peter, and stuff like that, right? That's even the reason why some black people decided to not name their name, not name their daughter a typically a black type of name. You see some black people with the name Peter, or some names that you would commonly see uh, white boys and girls getting called. When I think about African Americans, I feel like asking them, what is wrong with them? They're really dangerous. If an African American is on the same street as I am, I'll cross the street to avoid their chaotic, thuggish ways. Are you okay? I'm irritated. I'm sorry. I just know that I'm white. I mean, she might not know that I'm white, but I know. I mean, you might not know that I'm purple, but I know that I'm purple. Yeah. <laughs> Filter my blood. I tell my mom I'll never be like any of those Negroes. My mom tries to criticize me about my supposed race. I tell her she's just ignorant. There's nothing. Yo, tell me how her mom is lighter than she is. Your mom is closer to being white than you are to being white. Nigga. N I, I gotta say, nigga. Nigga. What is you doing? Yeah, baby. What is what is you doing, baby? And she's young too, so I'm gonna give it to her. I'm gonna I'm allow her, not allow her like all the way, but like she has a lot of character development to go through. I'm wrong with my views or beliefs because I have freedom of speech and everything I'm saying is true. Okay, Treasure, how are you this morning? I'm pretty great. How are you? I'm all right. That's great. Now you've been listening to everything we've talked about so far. Yes, right? I have. Brett, her name is Treasure. What Caucasian person name do you know as Treasure? Or, you know, we call it, what's the other one? Oh, what, Pearl, Diamond, Peace. Yeah, anyways, let's just continue. And is there anything that your mom has said or told me about that's inaccurate, incomplete, or that you want to add something to? Well, I mean, actually, yeah. You guys called me delusional earlier, and I feel like the only people no, I did who... not call you delusional. I asked your mother if she thought you were delusional. Yes, well, you asked her that question. I would like to clarify right. the fact that I am nowhere near delusional. I'm actually very capable and a very intelligent person, so... Uh -huh. Being delusional and being intelligent are not mutually exclusive. Well, I feel like if you're being delusional, then you've got to be some type of retarded. And I'm not that. Well, I have... Oh, yes. And I'd like to call my homie Kev on stage to the stand to quickly pray for uh, this fine young girl, Treasure. Kev on stage, you know, take it away. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come against this Rachel Dozel transracial delusional demon in the name of Jesus, Father God. We come against the spirit of confusion, Father God. We come against this, I'm not black, I'm OJ. <laughs> okay, Father God, I want you to clear up her eyes, Father God, spit in the mud wiping her eyes so she can see that no matter how she sees herself, the world will see her as she is, a black woman, Father God. Come out of there, Kardashian role model demon, Father God. Oh my God, let her see clearly now the rain is gone. Hey, Father God, come against it right now. Rachel Dozel, you have no place here, Father God. Come against it right now in the name of Jesus, Father God. Clear it up even now. We thank you and praise you in Jesus' name, amen. 
what's the lesson or what's the uh, takeaway from this uh, this video? It's like, bro, people still have this mindset, you know, like it's gonna take a while. Like slavery was only like what 150 some odd years ago. You know, it's still it's, there's still a lot of room to grow, a lot of things to like improve upon before you can even like think, oh, slavery's over. Like we still honor and recall 9/11, right? So saying, oh, slavery happened only 150 years ago, or forget about slavery, or telling black people, oh, uh, racism doesn't exist, or I don't see color, bruh. You no, know, acknowledge it, like recognize it, like be educated about, about like, you know, your society, like why your white privilege, black privilege, or whatever it is, right? It's, it's still going on. Like people have, look, look at this mindset, bro. A young black girl, 16 years old, her name is Treasure, thinking she's less than, essentially, because she thinks, oh, black is not good enough for her. She wants to be Caucasian. I'm sure at one point when she gets older, if she doesn't like improve her mindset, this girl will be bleaching her skin, using products to lighten her, her, her face, her color. Oh, man. That's about me. Mom is my daughter or son. Yo, I'm gonna treat them so well. The melanin will be, yo. Black boy joy, black girl magic. I'll embrace the nappy hair or whatever. Natural hair, rigs, whatever it is, bro. Hey man, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you. This channel is about you entertainment. Hope you were entertained by Shorty, by me and you're educated on, you know, the topic too. Much love, peace and joy, namaste, and if it doesn't feed you, don't water it. Definitely check out the other videos on my channel right here, and here, in the comment section too. I appreciate you, but. Two twin blocks, they go click clock. Half a pound of Jumanji in a Ziploc. I got the Rover smoke up, that's a hot box. She like niggas.